The topic this time is all about the editing of attribute data in attribute table using ArcGIS 10.8. The attribute table displays information on features of a selected layer. Each row in the table represents a feature, and each column contains a particular piece of information about the feature. Features in the table can be searched, selected, moved, or even edited. In this activity, let us edit the attribute table of the population data, area and perimeter of selected barangays of a municipality which is a vector data and at the same time, the attribute table of a road which is a line feature. This is the Excel data showing the 2015 population data of the target barangays. In the ArcMap window, connect the folder of the data then add the shapefiles to the data frame. Let us first add and edit the polygon. Label the features to easily visualize and identify the spatial data. Now, let us proceed to the editing of attribute data, open the attribute table, and then check the stored data. Add the 2015 population. First add a field for the population. Rename the field. Precision is a number that shows an amount of the information digits. To start the editing of the field generated, first activate the editor tool. When editor tool is enabled, proceed to the attribute table then start editing. Select each feature then encode the population data based on the Excel data.
This time let us calculate for the area and perimeter of the Barangay boundaries. But don't forget to stop the editor tool when creating additional field. Add a field for the area specifying the unit to be used. Double-click the field to rearrange or sort the attribute data. We can see that the barangay having the highest population in 2015 has a value of 6,135 for Melda Bliss Village. At the same time, the barangay having the highest population is also an urban area based on the attribute data. While the smallest is 688 from Sindan Maridi, which is a rural area. Next is to calculate the perimeter for each of the barangay. Generate first a separate field for the perimeter specifying the unit to be used. This time let us add the line feature from the catalog then edit the attribute data. To edit the visibility of the spatial data, just edit the symbology of the line. To edit the attribute data of the line, open the attribute table, and then add a field for the data. If the data to be encoded is a text, then you need to set the type into text. Again, to edit the data, first enable the editor tool then proceed to attribute table to input the text.
In calculating the length or distance of the line, add a field then proceed to calculation.